We have more than 1 million engineers passing out in our country every year. And you are a part of that large community. About 5 to 7 percent of universities around the world are trying to produce impactful engineers. You're an engineer in a city like Bangalore, which is one of the most important city in the world in the years to come. You're in the silicon capital of our country, you're in the technology capital of our country, you're in the startup capital of our country. When we got into engineering, our imagination of engineering was machines, codes, laboratories. But today, engineering is no more that. Engineering is all about solving problems. And today when we stand here and we talk about engineering, what engineering was when Surat sir studied in engineering college to what engineering was when I studied in engineering to what engineering today has definitely changed. When we got into engineering, our imagination of engineering was machines, codes, laboratories, right? But today, engineering is no more that. Engineering is all about solving problems. Solving problems so that you serve the society in a better way and that society adds value to your knowledge that's churned into imagination and that imagination actually becomes impact. Right? And that's the engineering you need to do. And engineering is not about engineering those machines. The next four years of engineering is going to be engineering yourself to be the best version of you from where you started today, from where you're graduating as a proud 2029 batch four years from now. That's engineering for you. To give you some insight to where you belong, we have more than one million engineers passing out in our country every year. And you are a part of that large community. About five to seven percent of universities around the world are trying to produce impactful engineers. We are in an age where artificial intelligence, generative design, rapid research is growing. It's not an age where we took four years to write a code, four more months to execute that code, four more years to build that project and do it. Today, all that can happen in minutes and seconds. What you need is the clarity to ask what you want. I was just telling everyone around that I feel we are in the best phase of education ever. Where education is not about answering all the questions, it's about having the clarity to ask the right questions, right? Today, as lecturers sitting in front of me or students sitting in front of me, we don't need to know what the answer is, but we need to ask rightly on what we want as answers and we have people around it, right? It's not an age where information is the mere, you know, parameter with which we judge progress or success. Information is spread all across. What you need is inspiration to convert that information into imagination and that inspiration to still hold back with that resilience to convert your imagination into impact for a society tomorrow. That's engineering for all of you. And that's the first point I want you to remember. I told you no more than one million engineers get produced in a country today. I'll tell you what the best part about all of you is. And so I was talking about opportunity. You know what's the opportunity in front of you? You're not merely just one engineer in any part of the country. You're an engineer in a city like Bangalore, which is one of the most important city in the world in the years to come. What advantage you hold is a privilege, and privilege comes with a lot of responsibility, right? You're in the silicon capital of our country, you're in the technology capital of our country, you're in the startup capital of our country. And today, when I was looking at the thousand, hundred of you sitting out there, we have about 10% of you coming from all across the country. You have about 50% of you coming from all parts of Karnataka. We have an ecosystem built, like Hauser was saying. What are you going to do with that ecosystem is the question in front of you. Right? And my dear students, I want you to remember in this age of artificial intelligence and generative AI and all the progress and research that's happening, what you need to do is to experiment, fail, learn, and then create again. The more you fail, the more you have an opportunity to learn something new. The more you bounce back, the more it's going to build you as a character of person.